Yo, what's up guys, Tanmay of a simple snippets and today's video tutorial is going to be on swapping of two variables using third variable. So yes, this is again going to be a practical programming video tutorial wherein we are just going to be seeing this program and this is a very basic program and if you have Java programming as a subject in your curriculum, you'll definitely come across swapping of two variables program at at, at least the beginners level. So let's start off with this program. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to declare two variables int x equals to five and int y equals to seven. Okay. So this is the output that we want. So in the output, we should be printing before swapping the actual values that we initialized x and y with. And after swapping, we want the values to be swapped. So x would be seven and y would be five. So this is the basic concept of swapping of the values in the variables. So let me just erase this output because it is eating up our screen. So now swapping cannot be directly just done by saying x equals to y and y equals to x. If I do this and if I try to print this, so let me just print the values as well. So I'm going to say system dot out dot print ln before swapping. I'm going to append value of x. Then again, I'm going to append value of y. Let me just first run this and check it. Okay. So before swapping, we have X and Y and let me just copy and paste this again over here. So I'm just going to change this after swapping. And if I run this, so you can see before swapping, we have X equals to five and Y equals to seven. And after swapping, we have X equals to seven and Y equals to seven. So we did not get our appropriate output, right? We wanted X equals to seven but we wanted y equals to five. Now both x and y have become seven over here because what exactly we did over here is we said x equals to y. So what happened was now the x value is seven. That is okay. That is what we wanted. And then we said y equals to x, which means that y now will take the value of x, but x is just become seven. So again, y also will become seven, right? Because the assignment happens from right to left. So y was first gone into x. So X was seven. Now this seven is again going to Y. So that's why the output was seven and seven. So here what we need is we need one more variable, which will act as a temporary variable to hold one value. So I'm going to say int temp. Now what I'm going to say is I'm going to say first temp is equal to X. So what I'm saying is I'm transferring value five to temp. So temp becomes five. Okay. Now the next line, what I'm going to say is I'm going to say X equals to Y. So now X becomes five, right? Because value in X is still five and we have copied that five to temp also. So now, okay. When I say X equals to Y, X becomes seven because Y is seven and this seven is now transferred to X. So X is old value that was five is transferred to temp. So now what I'm going to say is Y equals to temp because X is old value of five was stored in temp, right? So this five will now transfer will now be transferred to Y which means that we have performed successful swapping. Let's see if this works. Let me run this. So there you go. You can see before swapping X equals to five and Y equals to seven after swapping X equals to seven and Y equals to five. So this is the logic. Let me just change these values and let's try to see again. If this works, I'm going to say X equals to 45 and Y equals to 60. So let's dry run this first. So temp equals to X. So what was the new value that we assigned over here? X equals to 45, right? So this 45 is going to go in temp. So temp becomes 45 X equals to Y. So the value of Y is transferred to X. So Y is 60. So X becomes 60. Now we say Y equals to temp. So the value of temp goes to Y. The value inside temp over here is 45. So Y becomes 45. So we've successfully performed swapping again. Let's try to dry run and run this. So there you go. X equals to 45 Y equals to 60. After swapping X equals to 60 Y equals to 45. So this was swapping of two variables using third variable. So the third variable acts as a temporary variable to hold one of the value and then we can perform the swapping properly. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood this quick short practical program on swapping of two variables. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial. Peace.